All right, hello everyone, and welcome to game number two in our best of three series between Cubit32 and Sailor. This map looking a bit more forgiving than the last. There are at least multiple high aluminum tiles and multiple silicon tiles, you know, more than two. So that's that's something to pay attention to. Pretty nice scientific spot right here. Certainly uh, should be usable. Kind of a nice area up what here as well. Cubit is going to found in the well obvious scientific location. Then, plenty of water, aluminum not far away, plenty of iron. That's exactly the kind of thing you expect Remarkable to see out of Cubit. Sailor's going to drop robotic, which could work out just fine. He is going to be forced to grab up some aluminum. Cubit's playing with that price quite a bit, but not going to commit to it too hard against a robotic opponent, it looks like. And Sailor, whoa. He is going to need to buy up aluminum quickly before Cubit catches on to what's happening and drives that price sky high. Obviously, he doesn't need too much. He only needs 20. But every little bit counts in these games. Like, Cubit could be selling down some steel, getting some aluminum. It's just difficult to judge what to do at this stage of the game. See, we're actually sitting on no aluminum now. That's interesting. Bit of a bold strategy, in my opinion. But could work out okay. All right. Cubit already HQ level 2. No big surprise. He was the one to found first. Taking a quick water pump. I definitely like that. Even out of scientific players. A quick high water tile can make you quite a lot of money very quickly. Simply transition it later when it's no longer as profitable as other buildings would be. Also going to add on a steel mill. He's going to have one claim left after that. Might not have decided what to do with it yet. Just kind of waiting, seeing exactly what his opponent does. He is going to commit into that medium aluminum tile. That is going to be more than enough aluminum for Cubit this game. A lot of tiles to commit to it, but it does lock his opponent out of a convenient, nice medium for himself. And so, potentially, as long as Cubit's careful with that aluminum, it could make him a fair amount of money this game. He's just going to have to be patient with it, not sell it down too quickly, use it for upgrading, tear through upgrades as quickly as he can with it rather than selling it down and just simply giving Sailor easy upgrades for himself. Worth paying attention to the fact that once again, Cubit has almost $32,000 of debt. That's actually racking up very, very quickly right now with these steel mills online. And so he is going to have to kind of pay attention to that this game. It's not too bad. He's still in that triple B rating, but interest is going to hit before long and that can start adding up quickly, whereas Sailor is down at 7.5 thousand and already we have an EMP onto Cubit Steel. Nice to see people willing to do that sort of thing. Also worth noting that Cubit did purchase a claim for a farm right here, so that's going to be just a fair amount more money in his pocket. You can see that this water pump already kind of falling off. Not too surprising against a robotic opponent who also went for a ridiculous amount of water. So he'll probably be looking to transition that if he has the opportunity later in this game. Just not heading for it right now because the base resource cost is so high that it's probably not worth it. Worth also noting that Sailor, it's a very interesting decision, has not taken two iron tiles. Instead, he stuck to just one. He ended up taking quite a bit of water and trying to move into a farm quickly. It feels like he's trying to fight Cubit directly. There, we do see that farm transition out of Cubit. And I was a bit worried about him managing to get to HQ level 3. Like, one of these steel mills is basically non-functional. But he has pulled it off. I want to see him take a little more iron, make sure that he secures all these this steel production that he's going to want. But he is managing to hold on for the time being, and you know he was the first HQ level 3 this game. Sailor also going to need to be... Watching that dead, it doesn't look like he's interested in making money off of power this game, so it shouldn't be that big of a concern. But dead is starting to rack up, certainly something to pay attention to. Good Cubit, I like this transition. He gives up on the far-flung farm on the water tile, just puts one down here instead. Definitely can appreciate that. People are pretty sure about that geotherm. That's eh, probably worth it. That is an entire extra claim. It's a lot of debt immediately. 24,000 to take on. Sending Sailor to the 52,000 range. And as you can see, he is earning quite a lot for himself very quickly with this ridiculous power price. He definitely needed power online. Was that worth it? I'm a little skeptical. You could have let it go for 20. 
and just made a simple transition yourself, right? Silicon, not all that expensive at this stage of the game. There's plenty of it available. There's even a nice silicon carbon combination, which is absolutely fantastic this game after Cubit went ahead and went for wind farms would have certainly been a possibility to be a bit cautious just pick up a black market claim take the silicon and carbon transition the water on over into some solar panels and I think that might have worked out a little bit better for Sailor now he's already sitting on that 75,000 debt it just keeps going up and I'm definitely concerned about that I'm actually curious to see Cubit is actually selling power. He just doesn't have a whole lot left over because he is, of course, working on wind turbines, which just generally speaking, don't really make all that much power, unfortunately. Even after they got buffed at one point, it's still like, it's hard to justify the wind turbine most of the time. And solar panels coming out for Cubit. I think this almost already has actually locked up the game for Cubit, if I'm being honest. Sailor is down Colony in expansion. D levels of debt, even after that expansion, still D levels of debt. That is going to start to overwhelm him very quickly. It is going to limit his access to the black market. He's not going to have mutinies. He's not going to have extra claims. He's not going to have pirates. He's not going to have adrenaline boosts. Huge deal. Absolutely, the adrenaline boost. And so, okay, yeah, he gets this geotherm up. Paid so much for that. Paid so much. Cuba just takes it away. He says, nope, that's mine now. I'm now making money off power. I have no debt. I'm making $2,000 a second off power where you're just going to tumble out of this game. And how are you going to get power down? Look at the price of carbon. Look at the price of silicon. What in the world are you going to do to try and stay alive? And I think, I hate to call it so early, but I think this one is over. Also worth noting that Cubit is paying attention and doing what we discussed earlier this game. He is not allowed Sailor convenient access to aluminum. He is not allowing Sailor easier access to steel when he was so stingy with taking that iron. So much steel being held onto by Cubit right now. He's not rushing this. He's not pushing it. He's just sitting on the resources, making sure his opponent can't do anything. This tile would get auctioned off. And now he's just going to kill Sailor flat out right now. It's a little bit ridiculous. And what on earth are you going to do about it as Sailor? D levels of debt. You don't have access to the black market. Your territory is kind of eh. You don't have that power online. Power is so expensive to put down. You're not going to get it down in time. And on top of that, night's coming. So solar panels really aren't going to do much on their own anyway. Cubit does manage to get that tile. Willing to pay a little bit of cash for it. Obviously, like that 8,000. Look how quickly he overwhelmed that debt. Like, it's just gone. It's just gone already. Cubit also not upgrading because... Cubit is, of course, a competent player that knows that the way you win the game is by just going and killing your opponent. Something that other people do need to pay a little bit more attention to sometimes. All right. Cubit's starting to sell down. He's wanting that quick little burst of cash so he can finish up this game. Obviously, it being nighttime has kind of slowed down his power production a little bit as he is not going to have access to those solar panels. And there you go. Cubit takes it just simply managing that power. Sailor letting debt get out of control. We talked about it. Taking, I believe, a couple of auctions did Sailor for quite a bit of cash. That geotherm in particular was an awful lot to pay. That was the big one right there. There's just this geotherm. He paid so much for it. And that kind of combined with the steel mill not quite producing. I really would have loved to see early on, early, early, early on. I would have loved to see once this water price crashed out. Yeah, you don't really want to give your opponent just complete control of that water market, but Sailor was could have been sitting on, I don't know exactly how much anymore, because obviously he turned into a subsidiary and we lost all his resources. But it is quite possible to kind of just sit on quite a bit of water. It is possible just to choose not to rely on farms. You're robotic, you don't need to worry about it. And just go into those solar panels instead on these water pumps, and I think we would have seen a very, very different game. But that's not what happened. It's not how it turned out. It was a nice victory over to Cubit. Read the game well, knew what was going on. Strong use of the black market. Not a lot of use of the black market, but intelligent use of the black market. Knew what he was doing with it. And so that is always nice to see. Good management of resources as well out of Cubit. Just easily takes him through two games in a row and he's done with this series he's out on to the round of eight for him
I am going to also look very quickly and see, just for my own amusement, how to have sold $160,000 worth of power. $160,000. Ridiculous.